How to get unlimited XP in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, how to unlock your social distance challenge and a lot of other stuff like the Dark Ever camo in Black Ops Cold War. I'm going to show you what you have to do exactly step by step and let's jump right into the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ivan the German is back and welcome to another Cold War video. Today I'm going to show you a glitch how you can get unlimited XP and play Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies till round. I don't know how long you have time but you can play as long as you want because this glitch is not patched. They didn't patch it yet, you can use it. You just have to follow those simple instructions step by step, it's very very easy. First of all, you can use this glitch in a private session or with your friend in a private session. I did it yesterday with my best buddy Olo Brolo in Zombies till round 100 and I achieved a lot of those very difficult achievements. I will show you what we got here in the video and right now I'm going to tell you the guide how to how you can use this glitch. First of all, pick your weapon. I would recommend to use the Galio because the only difficulty here is that you have to face against those hellhounds. And those dogs are quite annoying because they can charge you and they are fast. Because of that, I would recommend to use the Gallo with the 12th round tube and pick the Ether Shroud as your special ability to get a little teleport and you are invincible for your opponents and you will get a fully loaded magazine. All of that points are perfect for the social distance challenge. If you're new to this channel, and I guess you are, subscribe to this channel to enjoy more Call of Duty and FPS gameplay videos. So after you picked your weapon, and I will give you the instructions, even with the social or for the social distance challenge, you have to be as quick as possible or as fast as possible to turn the power on. So play till round 6 and leave one zombie alive. Why is that important? Because in round 8 you'll face the first elite opponent and it can be quite annoying because they can throw stuff on you. So be aware that you are on round 6, you have enough money to open everything you need around 10,000 points and 500 to get the die machine. So as I said, till round 6, turn the power on and after that go in the anomaly because you need to build the die machine for the die machine you need 500 let's say bucks and to build a die machine you have to go in the ether tunnel and that's why you need those 500 extra points after you receive that you can pick a puncher weapon but it is not necessary uh, for the social distance challenge and you can do all of the other challenges like play with your standard weapon no upgrades it's much more easier if you play it with a friend and that's why I told you you can do it with a friend. After you can pick a punch your weapon you have to collect and build the atherscope and now it gets a little bit difficult because after you collect all or one of those three parts those dogs are spawning. So you build up your pick a punch opportunity and you have to go in the next anomaly and after you join the next anomaly and after you picked one of those three Etherscope parts, dogs are spawning. So be aware, use your special ability and lose your Galio. It's also important that you're not standing in the gas or fall damage or any other damage. If you get damage, you do not achieve your social distance challenge. So be aware, do not fall down, do not get hit. Uh, Zemtex, explosive, whatever, don't take damage. And if you achieved all three parts, you will get into real world again, go build up your atherscope and it's important that you are doing this before you're doing the next step. And the next step is trigger the coffin dance easter egg. To trigger the coffin dance easter egg, you have to shoot five of those dots, of those bright bluish dots. And now it's important to have, or before you shoot all of those five dots, have a timer on your side and set the timer after you shot the last dot. And it's important to set the dim timer right after you shot the last, the fifth dot. And set the timer or remember the mark 55 seconds. That worked perfectly for me and for my friend. 55 seconds and after 55 seconds you have to go and trigger the ghost anomaly. I will show you that if you are in the coffin dance right here 
You can enjoy whatever, you can do whatever you want, but be aware after 55 seconds to trigger the ghosts and interact with them. It's like standing next to them, facing them, whatever. Just stand right here and listen what they are selling with the nice German accent. And after, like, it's one minute and six seconds, it teleports you back. And now it's important that you go to this red light and stand there. I am not sure how important it is for the wall glitch or bug, but it's like just follow those rules and that will help you. It's simple as it is. And right here you can see if you do everything correctly, it works perfectly. You are now in round maybe six, seven or eight and you can test it right from the beginning. The zombies are ignoring you completely. You are in a god mode in terms of they are not hitting you, but you can get damage and that's important for your social distancing challenge those dogs have still let's get the gas do not get into the gas don't fall from the rooftop or whatever and do not get any damage it's as easy as it sounds as difficult it can be if you are not focused on what you're doing but as i said it's quite simple and it works the most annoying thing for social distancing challenge for the social distancing challenge is the parts for the ethoscope uh, because of those dogs as I said at the beginning. So let's make a quick summary. Pick your weapon, get till round 6, leave one zombie alive, turn the power on, build your die machine, after your die machine go right into the next anomaly and build your ethoscope or collect the parts for your ethoscope. Be aware if you pick up one part zom uh, zombie dogs will spawn and use your special ability. After you picked all three parts Build your Everscope, trigger the Confidence Easter event with your time on 45 seconds, go to the Ghost Anomaly, interact with those ghosts, and congratulations, you can play as much as you want, XP, you can get XP as many as you want, and you can farm till, I don't know, it took quite a lot of time to get or to reach round 100, and of course I'm not stupid enough to do this alone because oh, it's boring as as hell but we want to try it we want to try it if it works to get till round 100 and it works they did not patch it you have to follow those rules if you're interested in more call of duty videos follow us subscribe to this channel and i see you guys right in the next video